Hey YouTube, this is Natural Normal Nay, and in today's video, I have a special request from a subscriber that I'm also subscribed to, Classyandra Elite. She's my auntie over in the UK. I'm playing. She's not blood my auntie, but you know, we be adopting people here on YouTube. But anyways, she wanted to know how you can do, um, basically do some SEO. So I just really wanted to show you guys my um, approach to doing the SEO because um, it does help to build up your your channel to try to get views. I know I'm still pretty new to this, but I ha I can see like the top search terms that I I am ranking for. Like for instance, I have NACA mortgage program that I brought my house with. I also have day trading, drop shipping, cleaning stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is show you what i do how i do it and how you can get it for dang near free per month okay so let's say i wanted to upload this video that i'm working on right now when i go to update or upload the video i'm just gonna pick one of these all right so let's say i'm uploading this video i'm trying to figure out what my name of this video is going to be i know it wants to be something with seo youtube channel something of that nature so this TubeBuddy allows me to look at my keyword explorer the, or the keyword explorer that comes with the system. And mind you, this is all attached to your channel. So I'm going to type in SEO YouTube video and just see what comes up. All right. So as you can see, it says excellent. Okay. Now, there's two things right here that you got to pay attention to. Weighted and unweighted. Weighted goes off of your channel, specific to your channel. My channel right now is still pretty new. I don't have a very targeted niche. I don't have a very targeted niche. Um, so if you have a specific channel, like let's say it's organizing, just all organization videos. If you do certain keywords, that's going to say organize my kitchen, organize my pantry. The weighted just shows, okay, this is very good for your channel. Unweighted shows how competitive it is with other channels. So this keyword explorer right here is, um, it says excellent. The search volume is pretty good. Competition is very good. And the optimization is very good. So there's obviously a lot of people that are searching for how to do SEO on YouTube um, for their videos channel 2020 and I'm also going to throw in TubeBuddy. The reason why I'm going to throw in TubeBuddy is because I do have a code that allows you to get this for you know for really really cheap especially if you are underneath that uh, 1,000 video or 1,000 subscribers. Pricing for this TubeBuddy is anywhere between $9 and $49 but if you click the link that I'm going to post is going to say https rajabrajitubuddy.com tubebuddy.com slash natural normal name you'll get five dollars off the month and that depends if you have less than a thousand subscribers I also do want to go through another exercise with you because I, this is like the perfect example right here that I have for this keyword example keyword explorer usually I have to play around with different um, keywords to figure out the best one that's going to give me a higher score. So what I usually do, like let's say I didn't know what to title my video, right? Uh, let's say TubeBuddy YouTube, right? You see how the score went down to good? All right, so over here you can, if you still are like kind of stuck and you don't know what to title your video, all you have to do is click on um, one of these keywords over here, something that is more relevant for your um, for your video. So let's say um, how to get more views on YouTube TubeBuddy. I'm going to click on that. Maybe that goes up um, higher than 52, maybe less. Oh, it goes up to 76. It's still lower than my score of 85. But then hmm, there's some more. How to get more views and subscribers on YouTube using TubeBuddy. So I'm just going to click on that, see what happens. It brought it back down to 52, right? Usually they have it down below, which your previous ones were. Oh, here it goes. Um, how to get more views and subscribers using TubeBuddy. So that gave you a uh, 52. And then this one right here. 
gave you 76, right? So it's good that it does keep your um, recent keyword searches so you know exactly how you should title it. Now, this is not where it stops. Because you figured out the title of the video, you also want to incorporate the title of the video into your description, right? So this is like a previous video from back like a couple months ago when I did behind the scenes. Yeah, as you, you see right here behind the scenes, I kind of want to just reiterate what I'm typing in right here into the description and then like watch me record like I should have had something in here and I'm going to tell you why let me view this on YouTube I'm going to pause it. and once you get your um your Google Chrome extension for the TubeBuddy what like it's going to come with the package and this is the TubeBuddy extension right here but it comes up with your all your all of your SEO so right now it's giving me a 60 SEO score because I didn't include all of this verbiage in here. So eventually I'll go back and comb through everything to, um, you know, see if the title does have, if all the words in the title matches what's in the description. And then also you want to include what you have in your title description inside of your tags. So you come down here to the tags. And this is another thing that I absolutely love about TubeBuddy. It gives you additional tools when it comes to figuring out what to tag your video. So when you click keyword score, like sort your tags by keyword score, you can say, oh, these are higher, even higher ranking um, keywords that you can tag your video as. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, exactly like, I don't know what this um, Amharic is. I don't know what that means. But if I can add this to my um, tags. And then whoever is like searching this, my video will come up and they're like, oh, hold on, wait, this is, this looks really good. You know, they might be searching for Amharic or whatever that is, but my video is going to come up, they're going to look at it and I'm going to get more views, you know? So you sort it, you sort it by that. And actually, I actually have some more room right here to add it. And then... Yeah, you. I would just recommend adding um, more keywords up until you hit the 500. The more tags, the better. Some of the, some people say the tags don't matter. I think they do. They're not going to have it included on your channel um, dashboard if they didn't matter. Okay, there would not be too buddy if it didn't matter. So just take as much uh, opportunity as you can to really optimize your channel or grow it or you know get your search term search terms corrected because. You want to make sure you're doing everything that you, the content creator that is putting out your content, takes a lot of time to do it. it, takes a lot of effort, confidence, enthusiasm to push your content out. You deserve everybody to see your video, okay? All right, so I hope this was a very helpful video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am more than more than willing to help you guys out if you guys want me to do an even more thorough video of um tubebuddy or how to do seo on your youtube channel please let me know i'm here for you guys and i wish you guys the best of, the best of success also real quick if you are new to my channel and you like what you saw in today's video please hit the subscribe button and join the family all right and then hit the like button as well all right so this is natural normal name this is all i have to say Goodbye.